Hi friends, I'm back. Same wig. I liked it. I have to get in touch with my cousin, Tai Tai. She's a professional wig maker and, and uh, do something about this because this is my only wig. You know, I wore it last video when we were talking about Yayoi Kasama. But anyway, I think it's colorful and it's fun and it saves me from bad hair days. So today we're talking about uh, artist Bisa Butler. And you saw in the PowerPoint that she's an artist that uses fabric and lots of patterns in her artwork. And so the goal today is to create a self-portrait that looks like we're using lots of bright patterns, but we're actually gonna draw them because um, we don't really have access to a needle and thread or a sewing machine. And we can make patterns instead of having to buy them. So that works out. So when uh, you are ready, get your art journal out and pencil. And an eraser, we know we always practice in our art notebook first. So we are doing a self-portrait. And a self-portrait is a picture of your self. Yes. So you, we're going to start with an oval. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, mine's up too high for you to see. And it's kind of wonky. So here, let me fix that. Okay, so... So an oval for a person is a little more narrow at the bottom where your chin goes, but we can fix it as we go. All right. And so we want to add neck and shoulders. We don't want a whole body for this portrait. We just want neck and shoulders. Okay. Then for our self-portrait, we need to include some things on your face, right? We need something to see with. So I'm going to draw ghost lines and a ghost line is something that we're going to erase later. It just helps us to figure out where things go. So if we draw a ghost line right down the middle in each direction, that's about where the eyes and the nose would go. So the eyes would go on this ghost line. So we're going to draw the eyes here. And remember those ghost lines we're going to erase. So now we can erase those ghost lines because we don't need them anymore. Okay, and we know the nose goes here, so we can erase that ghost line, and the mouth is going to go here. Now it looks like my person has a giant forehead, right? I'm going to bring the nose down a little bit. But most of your hair is covering this up, so let's pretend I have on my crazy rainbow wig, my ears. So I have my crazy rainbow wig on. All right, so that covers up most of my head. Got my eyebrows. Now for me, if it's a self-portrait of me, I'm gonna add some earrings and my glasses. Starting to come along, yeah? And I have a plain shirt on, but I wanna add some patterns, right? Because what be so Butler was about adding lots of rich fabrics from her culture. Remember her father was from Ghana. So from her culture and from African American culture of quilting. So we want to add lots and lots of patterns. So I'm going to show you the one that I did before earlier. So I started with the same idea lines and then I added lots of patterns look at that a ton of patterns after I traced it with a sharpie then I added color see I'm gonna put this over to the side here so that you can see while we're adding our patterns so what kind of patterns can we add well if you look at some of her pieces she has big big patterns, big chunky patterns. So I like the, when she, the ones where she had the big fruit pattern. So you could add big fruit on yours if you like, or big stripes, any kind of patterns. You notice I added some cherry patterns or mine because, you know, my last name's Cherry. But uh, I'm gonna divide my shirt up into a few spaces so that I can have lots of different patterns on my shirt. I'm gonna add depth to my earrings and let's see what could we add to the background what do you think what kind of 
shapes, what kind of patterns would go really good. Now remember, I'm probably going to do my hair in rainbow order. So I need to add the stripes for the rainbow order. Right? So probably not a striped pattern. And we just did dots with Yayoi Kusama, so I don't want to do that. So maybe I could do the oranges again. Oh, that's kind of like the dots, huh? Well, that's okay. So we'll do the oranges again. So they started with circles. And some of the circles were behind me that you couldn't see. And the circles within circles. But you can do any kind of patterns that you want. You know, a pattern is just a line or a shape that repeats itself. Patterns can be regular or irregular. So in this pattern, I'm going to do lines in opposite directions. That's one of my favorite patterns, actually. So the patterns can be anything you want. They can just be shapes, circles, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, triangle. And you're going to fill up the space with your patterns. Maybe I'll just make these circles within circles instead of oranges. I don't always like to do the same idea twice. So if my hair is rainbow and these become like bullseye rainbows, that could be fun too. All right, friends, so you remember the steps. You start with an oval. You're going to draw your face. Make sure to include all of your features. Eyes, nose, mouth, ears. You want to include your mood. How are you feeling? Happy, mad, sad, glad, scared. Angry, bored. Ready to get back into the building. You're going to add patterns. You're going to trace with a black marker or a Sharpie. If you're not using markers, you can trace with a black crayon. And if you're using a crayon, don't worry about erasing. Just color right over it and add your color. And then submit to me on Canvas. And we're all good. All right, gang. I can't wait to see your Bisa Butler pattern portraits. That's hard to say. Say it three times real fast. Bisa Butler portraits. Don't do it. I'll just see ya. Bye.